Hello, good evening, and welcome to the eighth Scene Double Live Quiz. Uh, welcome back to uh, any regular viewers, and welcome uh, to any new viewers, and a special welcome to our premium viewers. Uh, so, as I say, this is the Scene Double Live Quiz. Uh, we'll just go over a few ground rules, uh, then we'll go over the special Scene Double rules, and then we'll get to the quiz. So this should take around one hour, so you will be able to watch the late Euros games, if you are so inclined. Uh, each question will take around 40 to 45 seconds. Uh, there are some music questions that may be a little longer. Um, after 15 seconds for most questions, a little fact will pop up at the bottom that may help you uh, answer the question. Uh, if we are going a bit too fast, you can just pause the live stream. Uh, catch up after part one or catch up after part two or just watch it a bit delayed um if you've got any questions you can put them uh, in the live chat uh if i ask for a person uh i want their full name that they are mainly known by not necessarily their birth name um there'll be two parts part one part two part one might be uh, a bit tricky uh, they're like quite normal maybe harder pub quiz questions and then part two will be a bit of pop culture um, and there should be a bit of fun, easy questions at the end. Um, make sure you have fun. And I think that's it. So let's get to the special scene double rules. So every word that you write down uh, is going to appear twice. So eventually, hopefully, you start noticing your repeating words. And if you're not repeating words, then try and find somewhere for them to go. Uh, there is an exception, the word the. So if you ever see the word the, just ignore it, don't even bother writing it down, save the ink, and then uh, maybe you'll use that ink to get another point later on. So let's see what I mean. So let's say you knew for sure the answer was don't go breaking my heart. All of those five words appear somewhere else in one of the other 29 answers. So another answer might be don't go, so two of them appear there. Uh, another answer might be breaking bad. Uh, then from there you might get bad guy, uh, heart, appears somewhere else maybe on its own guy could then give you family guy then family would be somewhere else my from don't go breaking my heart would be somewhere else etc etc uh, if you don't understand that uh, especially the new viewers then uh, just approach it as a normal pub quiz and maybe it will become clear as we go on um, so let's go on with part one huh. so just a peek behind the curtain the, uh, we've only just finished this uh, slideshow around 30 minutes ago because we've had a very uh, exciting day. I won't get into why it's been an exciting day, uh, but yeah, hopefully this uh, goes smoothly. I don't think they care about... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, it's been an exciting day because uh, I bought a PlayStation 5. Yeah, I don't think they care about that. Okay, let's uh, let's get on with part one. So we like to start with a few questions about uh, today, like specifically June the 23rd. So question one, uh, what is the name of the 315 mile river that runs north to south, uh, primarily through eastern New York. And then the little fact has uh, popped up at the bottom and you'll see in that fact it relates to today. So if you know the answer anywhere, very well done. Uh, if you don't know it and need the fact, use the fact. And if you look at the fact, still don't know it, remember the word will appear somewhere else in the quiz in an answer. So question one, the name of the river that runs north to south, primarily through eastern New York. Okay, question two relates to June the 23rd, 1910. Uh, the, 20, uh, sorry, the 15th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is born. What is his name? And I won't put it out all the time, but now a little fact has popped up that may help, may not. So the 15th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. What was his name? Okay, let's move on to question three. Again, about June the 23rd, but this time 1991. Which video game is released that follows the title character 
on a quest to defeat Dr. Robotnik. So which video game uh, released in 1991 uh, follows the title character on a quest to defeat Dr. Robotnik? Okay, question four. Uh, this relates to 1912, June the 23rd, 1912. Uh, the English mathematician, who is widely considered to be the father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence, was born. What is his name? So question four, born in 1912, June 23rd, what's the name of the English mathematician? Okay, now question, 20, uh, question five, uh, as I say, we only put this PowerPoint together about 30 minutes ago, but we did write the question yesterday. Uh, I've not seen the football yet, but hopefully uh, nothing has changed. Uh, so this year, 2021, how many own goals have been scored during Euro 2020? So this was written yesterday. Uh, I've not seen the football today, but just in case, I, I mean, I highly doubt it, but how many own goals have been scored up to yesterday? Oh, it's really, really... Okay, let's move on. Question six. So we're, we're done with uh, the day, that specifically June the 23rd. So let's move on to some normal-ish questions. What is the chemical symbol for this element? I just want the symbol for that element. Uh, question seven. What is the symbol for the first astrological sign in the zodiac? So the symbol, not the sign itself, but the symbol for the sign. Question seven, the symbol, not the specific sign. Okay, question eight. We always seem to have problems with question eight. I don't know if it's because it's an uh, 8-bit machine or something, this. Uh, but I've actually got a new uh, sound card, and uh, I plugged it in. Hopefully the right way around. So hopefully this will play correctly. So question eight. Okay, that was uh, question eight. Okay, question nine. Uh, what term uh, refers to a series of questions given to a computer and a human 
uh, to assess the computer's ability to resemble a human. Okay, that was question nine. Uh, question 10. What is the name for the highball cocktail made with one part vodka and two parts orange juice? Sorry if there is a little bit of a lag or juttery on the uh, webcam. That is probably due to the aforementioned PS5 getting set up by my technical team. Okay, question 11. What is the name of Europe's only submerged restaurant? So Europe only has one submerged restaurant. Uh, what is its name? Uh, question 12. Uh, which animal uh, did the Queen of Hearts use as a croquet ball in Alice in Wonderland? So the Queen of Hearts uh, used an animal as a croquet ball. What animal or which animal? Okay, question 13 is a music question. Uh, very rare for us to do a music question uh, in the first part. Uh, and this time I'm actually going to play the full song and I want the name of the artist. Uh, it might be a little bad sound quality, so you may need to turn it up. But I'm going to play the full song. It's around two minutes. Uh, so name the artist.
Thank you. There we are, that's question 13. So I want the name of the artist. Very talented artist, likes to try his hand at a few different things. Uh, but yeah, the full name of the artist. Uh, question 14. Uh, according to the 12 days of Christmas, which animal was sent to me on the first day? So which animal was sent to me on the first day of the 12 days of Christmas? And it's now question 15. And as always, it's going to be a name the artist question. Uh, it will play the full song and it will loop through questions 1 to 14. So if you've missed a question or you just need a refresher on the question, uh, stay tuned. Um, I think the song is around two and a half minutes to three minutes long. So it will finish. Uh, the, it'll play a few more slides. Uh, then we'll take a short break for part two. That's a short break before coming back for part two. Um, yeah, so we'll be back soon. So question 15, I want the name of the artist and we'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello, welcome back to uh, part two. So a couple of things uh, I was just informed of in the interval. Firstly, it, uh, it appears there has been some own goals today. So question five aged uh, very badly. So question five, let's just assume I said up until yesterday, uh, which I kind of said, but yeah, definitely up until yesterday. Discount any own goals uh, that were scored today. And secondly, I was informed that it was it wasn't the PlayStation I should have uh, informed you about. I, I didn't. I, I wondered why you'd care about that, but I should have told you today was exciting because we bought a house. So now that it's that time to say, what are you drinking today? We are drinking a bottle of Moe Ilshand Moe Ilshandon, liquid gold since seventeen forty three. Uh, so, cheers. And now to part two. So this will be a little bit uh, of an easier round. It'll be a bit more pop culture. Uh, and then we'll finish with some uh, easier, fun questions. But please do remember that every word you write down as an answer will appear twice. So, part two. Let's get going. Question 16. Uh, what is the name of the film uh, that controversially won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2005? And again, I'll just remind you, a little fact has now appeared, uh, but if you don't need it, you're very well done. So a film won the uh, Academy Award for Best Picture, Best Picture in 2005. Uh, it's a bit controversial. Uh, what was the name of the film? Question 17. Uh, what is the name of this tool uh, that is used by Doctor Who. Cheers. Oh, delicious. That's question 17. Question 18. Uh, I want you to name the film based on this uh, theatrical release poster. So I've blanked out the title, of course. Uh, last week I nearly forgot to do that. Uh, but what is the name of this film? So question 18, uh, name that film. Like I say, it's going to be a bit pop culture heavy is uh, part two. But do remember that every word is going to appear. So if you were struggling here, but you did well in part one, those words uh, will appear. Uh, question 19, uh, I'm going to play you a song, uh, around a minute of the song. I just want the name of the artist. So that was question 19. 
I want the name of uh, the artist. Please. Uh, question 20. Name the character. Okay, question 21. Uh, I want the name of the film. So again, I've put the theatrical release poster and a little uh, still from the film. I've blanked out the name of the film. What is the name of the film? Sometimes the uh, facts at the bottom may help, sometimes they may not help, and sometimes they're utterly pointless. And uh, I think that's a uh, example of ones where it's utterly pointless. I've basically just, uh, just typed out what it says on the poster. Okay, question 22. This mascot here is usually, usually associated with books. For who? Question 23, name the film. Hopefully the fact at the bottom will be more useful than the question 21. Hmm. Pretty good fact. So there you get there. I just want the name of the film. And uh, I think this is the first time I've said it during a question. Please remember, every word you write down appears somewhere else. Uh, question 24. Name the TV show. So it's not a film this time, it's a TV show. You may watch it on the same screen, but it's a bit different. So please name the TV show. Uh, and then question 25, we're back to film now. So it's got it's a bit confusing. We've got film, TV, film, uh, but I want the name of this film.
so what's the name of that film and you can see the theatrical release poster and a little still from the film and I think this time a bit more of a useful fact and now it's time to hit the links so what are we going to do now there's going to be four questions that are the links questions so you will see four pictures they will come up one at a time with around a six seven second delay uh, and i just want to know what links all the pictures and depending on how you're playing it in your household you could give yourself bonus points if you get it from the first picture the second picture the third if you need the fourth picture you need it that's fine uh, and remember the words appear somewhere else in an answer so let's start with question 26 what's the link So there's four pictures. There is something uh, hopefully unique that links them all. Uh, what's the link? Did you get it from the first picture? Get in touch. Uh, but while you do that, let's move on to question 27 again. What's the link? So again, four pictures, hopefully a uh, common link uh, between them. What is that link? Uh, and remember, we're going to loop through all of these questions when we play question 30. So if you have, uh, if you do need a bit of more time, you will see these pictures again. Uh, but question 28, again, please tell me the link. So there's uh, four more pictures, and I would like to know the link uh, between those four pictures. And you know the drill by now. Question 29, please tell me what the link is. Did you get that one after the first one? Did you get after the second one? I would genuinely like you to get in touch if you did. Question 29, what's the link? And as always, we're gonna finish uh, the, the part with uh, a name the artist question. Uh, so it will play the full song. It will loop through questions 16 to 29. Then we'll have a short break. You can look through your answers. Do you have any words written down just once? Find a place to slot them. Do you have any words written down three times? Something's gone wrong. Uh, but question 30, I want to know the name of the artist and then uh, we'll see you back here in a few minutes. is cute. 
school, but when he finally came back, his hair had turned from black into bright white. He said that it was from when the cousin smashed his soul. All over the church floor He couldn't quite explain it They'd always just gone Okay, hello and welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, speed up the uh, little pause that we had uh, because obviously there was that technical issue. So I do need to play question eight again for some people. Um, so this is what question eight should have looked like. So that was quite that's what question eight should have been so i'll now give you uh, another minute or so to go through your answers see if there's any words you've only written down once so this is where the puzzle element comes in uh see if you can figure out where they should go and then if you figure out where they should go you might get another word and then you might get this little chain popping up um also if you need to look up an answer maybe you've only got a few correct look up an answer and then that might give you the words to get that chain going 
because uh, of course this is just for fun unless you live in a uh, competitive household and then it is not fun uh, but i'll give you another few seconds to uh, compile your answer sheets and then uh, we'll go for the answers uh, quite quickly and then we can all get to the nine uh, the nine o'clock or eight o'clock wherever you're based your as games the last group stage games Okay, let's go through the answers. If you do need some more time, just pause the live stream and then resume whenever you need, but we'll go through the answers now. So question one, what is the name of the river that runs through New York? It's named after an uh, uh, English captain of a ship called Henry, and there's a few other places in America named after him. I think uh, apart from the river, the most famous is Hudson Bay, where he was uh, mutinied and set uh, off to drift. So the answer there is the Hudson. Uh, if you put Hudson River, I guess you technically get it correct, but river will not appear uh, somewhere else in this quiz. Question two, the 15th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the uh, Mormons, uh, he is featured in the documentary, Murder Among the Mormons, that is Gordon B. Hinckley. If you got that, very well done. If you got that without even needing a word from elsewhere, incredibly well done. Uh, question 3, 1991, which video game is released? That was Sonic the Hedgehog. But I'd hope you've only, uh, I hope you've only written down Sonic Hedgehog because please save that ink and do not write down the word the. Uh, question 4, 1912, the English mathematician that was born. Uh, I should have also possibly put in the uh, fact he's now featured on the £50 note in England. That is Alan Turing. Uh, question five, how many young girls have been scored during Euro 2020? Up until yesterday, not including today, I actually had a nightmare last night that one more young girl was scored and today I was thinking, should I make an extra version of the quiz? But two were scored today, but ignore those. The answer was six. Uh, I think that up until this Euros, nine had been scored and now eight have been scored in this Euros. That is, that is pretty crazy. But the answer I was looking there for, uh, looking for there was six. Uh, what is the chemical um, uh, symbol for this element? So this element is boron. So the uh, and the symbol for that is B. So uh, hopefully you got B for that. Uh, yeah, boron B. What is the symbol for the first astrological sign? So the first astrological sign is Aries, uh, and Aries is Latin for ram. So I, you should have written ram for question seven. Question eight, uh, due to the technical team, getting it wrong again. It was backwards, but hopefully you got happy, which has uh, 913 streams uh, on Spotify and 831 on YouTube. So very popular song. Uh, question nine, what term refers to a series of questions given to a computer? And then the computer answers and if you can't distinguish it from a human's answers then it's passed the Turing test. It uh, used to be called the imitation game and I believe the film about Alan Turing's life is called the imitation game. Uh, what is the name for the highball cocktail made with one part vodka two parts orange juice? That is a screwdriver. Uh, I believe that is referenced in a Forty Towers episode where he asked for a screwdriver and Basil gets a bit confused. It's a, an American term, but I guess now it's more of a global term. Uh, question 11, the name of Europe's only submerged restaurant. I did nearly write underwater restaurant. thought it might have given away, given it away, but that is under uh, in Norway, in Lin Lindesnes, I believe, uh, the south tip of Norway. Under is the uh, answer, has a, a Michelin star. If you put that down, you get a bonus point. Uh, question 12, which animal did the Queen of Hearts use as a croquet ball? So for the mallet, she used a flamingo, but the balls were hedgehog. Question 13, I want you to name this artist. Now this is one of the uh, my favourite questions I've ever written because 
not only is it quite a good song, but that fact when it pops up is quite interesting. So this is John Hinckley Jr., who in uh, 1981 tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Uh, I believe went to jail. He's now out, and now he has a YouTube channel of his um, original songs, which are pretty good. But the answer there was John Hinckley Jr. If you only wrote John Hinckley, I don't know, you can decide amongst yourselves whether you deserve the point. Uh, but if you didn't write Junior, you probably don't have it somewhere else. Question 14. According to the 12 days of Christmas, uh, which animal was sent to me on the first day? Now, of course, it begins with a P, so we've all got it on the tip of our tongue. It's not penguin, but it is partridge. But, I mean, they're quite interchangeable, so you, you may want a point for penguin if you did, I mean, if you did put that for some reason. But it's a partridge in a pear tree. Or a penguin in a pear tree. I mean, it's a funnier image. Uh, question 15 with Black Betty. Uh, featured in Rayman Legends, one of the best platform levels of all time. Uh, that is Ram Jam. That is the name of the artist. So that was part one. Part one, uh, usually the hardest part of this quiz. But then you get some uh, easy questions in the first, uh, in the second part. So hopefully we all did well in part two. Let's go through. What is the name of the film that controversially won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2005? Off the top of my head, I can't remember the films it was up against. I think one of them was Capote and one was something else, uh, of course. But the answer was Crash. Uh, question 17. The name of the tool used by Doctor Who is the Sonic Screwdriver. And I believe they uh, wrote it out of Doctor Who in 1982 because it's a bit a bit too powerful to get him out of uh, si like scary situations, but they brought it back in 2005. Uh, I want you to name the film for question 18. Um, there's a famous uh, soundtrack or song uh, for this film and also... Brian Blessed gives a very famous quote in this film, and that is Flash Gordon. Gordon's alive! I didn't think I was going to attempt that tonight, but I did. And that's brought to you by Moe Shandor. Uh, question 19, uh, the name of this artist, and that is John Legend. Have you got that? Very well done. Uh, question 20, I wanted to know the name of the character played by Steve Coogan, and that is Alan Partridge, or Alan Penguin. Uh, quite interchangeable, but hopefully you wrote down Alan Partridge. Uh, 21, the name of the film starring Tom Hardy is Ronnie Cray and Reggie Cray, and that is Legend. Very uh, big film at the time, but I'd have probably struggled to get that. Legend is the answer. Question 22. Uh, I was very happy when we came up with this question. I have to not take the credit here. It was not me that came up with this question. But this mascot is usually, usually associated with books for dummies. So DOS for dummies was the first book. And then I believe Windows for dummies came out straight after, which was the best-selling one. And L'Histoire de France pour les Nouveaux is the best non-English version. But the, those books are for dummies. Question 23. Uh, the film was Happy Feet. The Dancing Penguin. Happy Feet. Uh, question 24. The TV show uh, about the funeral home was Six Feet Under. Um, yeah. Or eight feet under, if you uh, were eight for the Euros, maybe maybe you can have a point for that. Uh, the film starring Bruce Willis and Richard E. Grant, with Bruce Willis as a cat burglar, uh, was Hudson Hawk. Uh, and then we get to the link questions. So all of the links here. Uh, if you got this from one of the first two, very well done. We had Grandmaster Flash from uh, from the hip hop world. We had Lord Flashheart from Blackadder. We had a camera which has a flash, and we have the Flash. So the link there was Flash. Uh, question twenty-seven. 
the first picture you saw was John F. Kennedy Jr. Then you saw Ed Begley Jr. Then Cuba Gooding Jr. And then Robert Downey Jr. So the link there was Jr. Uh, question 28. You see roller derby, a video game, some cars and some a strawberry. So in roller derby, uh, a round is referred to as a jam. The video game is uh, Def Jam New York, based on the hip-hop label. That is a traffic jam, and you can make strawberry jam. So the link is jam. Very tough question. I guess maybe you could have got it from strawberry and traffic, but if you got it from one of the first two, hashtag get in touch, but very well done. Uh, the link here, the first one is Burt Reynolds in a TV series. The second is, a, I believe, a linebacker for the Packers. The third is a character from Cobra, Cobra Kai. And the fourth is a skateboarder. And the link there is Hawk. So this TV series is known as Hawk, or called Hawk. The Packers player is AJ Hawk. Uh, that character from Cobra Kai is just referred to as Hawk. And that skateboarder is, of course, Tony Hawk. So hopefully there you got Hawk. And the final question... Uh, the Canadian band that and best known in their country for Superman song but the song I played you here was mm, 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 mm. and that was of course Crash Test Dummies and that is all of the answers so add up what you got uh, hopefully you did very well I would Genuinely be uh, very interested in hearing what you uh, got out of 30. So if you want to put it in the chat, put it in the chat. Uh, but here are your results. So if you've got 0 to 15, then you've got perfect vision. If you've got 16 to 25, you, your, your vision is slightly blurred. But if you've got 26 to 30, then you are seeing double. And uh, that is the end of the seeing double quiz. So cheers for tuning in. We'll be back next week, probably at the same time. I'm not sure exactly of uh, the Euros schedule, but during the Euros, we are starting a little bit earlier. Uh, but if you check the channel, uh, you'll see when the upcoming stream is. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this week. Uh, have a nice week. Goodbye.